Well, look, I, I take the example of Austria, which has brought in um, mandatory vaccination, as you said, Michelle, and it's going to be fining people. Uh, I disagree with that profoundly. I don't think that's the way to handle it. I do think there is a place for COVID vaccination passports, actually, I do, uh, for a limited period of time. I know that's deeply unpopular uh, with many people who believe that that's an infringement on civil liberties, but... But I, never mind their civil liberties, they don't work. Well, no, look, I've been, I've been to... The, the passports, uh, I'm, to, I'm talking about the passports, make very, very little difference. Well, look, I've been to uh, both Zurich and Berlin in the last six months. You have to show a vaccination proof anywhere you go over there to get in any restaurant or anything else of the sort. Now, over a period of time, once this, this disease moves from pandemic to endemic stage and we're either all, either all have been vaccinated or have had the, um, have had COVID. So there's a certain degree of herd immunity uh, within the country, but also in the world, then you won't need this. But in the interim phase, certain countries are, have introduced this. I think that makes sense. Obviously, you're not preventing people from going to the supermarket for essential goods, but you are preventing people to go to hospitality venues.